My dad was a classically trained painter. Growing up with him and, and drawing from life with him, I'm sure had an impact. Drawing was just the thing I've just always done my whole life. I want to try to find colors that fall between saturated and unsaturated, that have a personality that uh, is, is subtle or in between one meaning and another meaning, one, one valence and another valence, one hue and another hue. My experience of color is sort of rendered more toward the pure feeling experience than me coming up and being able to name the color in terms of its origin. I want to make something that puts me into that kind of state of mind of enthusiasm and, and real emotional experience. What I'm doing is public art. It's not street art. I'm not a street artist, I know that. I'm more in the mold of a, of a painter or a comic artist. And I don't come from any kind of graffiti tradition where the idea is to be out there public in the world in as wide a scope as possible. I love the idea of things not really adding up in any kind of neat or cozy or comfortable way. You know, oftentimes when I'm painting and I stick with one color too much, it starts looking flat and like an illustration to me. And to me, an illustration is sort of something where it presents all the known facts in as a clear and logical way as possible. And, and that to me just doesn't sound like a very interesting prospect. You know, I like to look for those moments where I can make a character that doesn't fit into the physical reality that we all agree upon as being real. The thing that I wanted to kind of represent was something that had some sort of power, some kind of story that regarded the families that live in the neighborhood and expressed my pride for San Francisco. I think that there's something really special about an artist creating something that's a complex, inwardly spiraling, self-reflexive conversation with, with the artist and, and what they're connected to. For me, the purpose of art is a coping mechanism. Art has been something that allows me, allows me to, to be alive, allows me to function in the world and to have a place to express myself that doesn't need me to be anything other than what I am in my perfectly mistaken form. I'm Jason Yeagle. I live in San Francisco, California, and I'm a painter.